We're learning more about the boil water advisory in place for much of West Baltimore. Mayor Brandon Scott, also with the DPW director and the head of the city's health department, provided an update about an hour ago. At this time, we do not know the source of the contamination, but I can assure you uh, that we are working actively to determine the exact extent of the issue, identify the source, and resume the delivery of clean uh, water to our residents in the impacted area. Now, this is what we learned from that update. The Department of Public Works found the water was contaminated with E. coli during a routine test. The mayor says the department got the first result Saturday. They were confirmed yesterday, and the public was told today. However, an affected fire union says they were told about the contamination yesterday. West Baltimore is the only area under a boil water advisory, but nearby jurisdictions can boil water out of an abundance of caution as well. Now, you can find a map of those areas on our website, foxbaltimore.com. DPW will distribute fresh bottled water throughout the night. More distribution sites will be set up tomorrow. Specifics about where those will be will be announced later. Now, the source of the water contamination at this time is not clear, but the Department of Public Works is not, uh, says it is not from its wastewater treatment plants. DPW says the impacted areas are being flushed right now and water assessments are underway. Health officials say that you should boil water for at least one minute to get rid of any stored water that you have at your home. Now, we have heard from several frustrated residents who say DPW needs to do better. And that one gallon of water is not going to cut it for people in the household. So one gallon of water is not going to work. Let's do right by the people that serve and pay taxes in the community right. and the seniors and the young people. Well, DPW first notified the public in a tweet early this morning. It said it would provide frequent updates, but we didn't hear from them for another eight hours. Health leaders say it is safe to wash clothes and shower if you live in the area, but if you've consumed any water, you should watch out for symptoms. And common E. coli symptoms include stomach cramps, vomiting, diarrhea, or a fever. These usually pop up within two to four days. If you feel you have any of those symptoms and you may have been exposed, reach out to your doctor for treatment. In response to the contaminated water, Baltimore City Schools says that it will be preparing meals off-site at the six schools seen on your screen. Hand sanitizer and bottled water will be available for staff and students at the schools. According to the city school's website, these precautions will be in place until the issue is resolved. Now, several Baltimore residents and city leaders voicing their concerns over the contaminated water, some pointing to illness earlier this summer. Becca says she tested positive for E. coli, but isn't sure where she got it. She lives in northeast Baltimore. Angela in Catonsville says she also had E. coli recently. She gets her water from the city. Theru Vignaraja says the crisis demands urgency. He's asking for city officials to, quote, step up. Sherry Lynn says she's experiencing a water crisis similar to what we've seen in Jackson, Mississippi, citing what she calls decades of neglect from city schools. Well, we want to know what you think. Are city leaders doing enough to hold DPW accountable for its mistakes? So far, 100% of voters say no. You can join the conversation by going to foxbaltimore.com vote and click on the Pulse tab.